good morning welcome to my channel my name is Bobby I am the Emperor of my universe this is the universe right here inside of my heart when people see that title they got to think this guy is the most arrogant cunt in the world right just I love myself I, I it took a long fucking time people for me to love myself I mean look at me look what I, I mean circumstances aren't exactly the best for me as far as like you know I'm monetarily speaking of but but I but I'm rising above it man I'm, I'm loving myself I'm, I'm just like living in the dream of loving me it's kind of like being on a honeymoon with yourself I don't, I don't, not in a bad way but you know what I mean just like yeah it's weird but yeah I, I actually value my work myself I know my worth and I refuse to accept anything less than what I deserve. How fucking awesome is that? Now if we can all just get on that same fucking page, right? And everybody feel that self-worth and and then see that worth in everybody else. Because if I see this in me, right? This little universe right here is amazing. But I also see that universe within you. I see it in everybody. And I just, it hurts my heart when I see a young lady, obviously mentally traumatized, who could use a place, who could probably use some help. <clears throat> she's an amazing being, but she's not being respected and treated as such. And there's so many people like that. I mean, come on now. Swing a, swing a, swing a cor corrupt politician or a perverted director in any direction, and you'll hit a homeless person. You know what I mean? So, what does it mean to be worthy of a society? I'm thinking about settling down on. That I, I'm digging the traveling. I'm loving the nomad thing, man. I'm telling you, if I could just have gas and I love traveling. It doesn't scare me. I mean, it's nice to have places to stay and and having. And that was one thing I was going to mention before. It was easier at the beginning of my journey because I had unemployment. 2009 was brutal because I worked all year. I mean, worked my ass off. I I literally I did damage to my feet working on that irrig irrigation. Because I did so much walking around these fields, mending stuff, and just working. I was working my ass off. So, so, but I, the benefit of that was me surviving with unemployment while I was running around trying to survive COVID. While everything was in lockdown and everybody's wearing masks and having to walk around like psychosurgeons. So I was blessed in that aspect. But you know, it's been it's been rough since, right? But I've, I'm still loving myself and still staying positive. I know my worth. And that, I just think, you know what I mean? We could all feel that same way that, if everybody felt the way I do about myself, the way you feel that way about yourself, which is kind of the whole point of my videos, is, you know, I get cheeky and I talk all kinds of shit, but pretty much every video is about you loving yourself, me telling you how much you're awesome, and I love you. And you know I mean? It's like an affirmation with the, you know, cheeky affirmation, you know, I'm fun. I got some stuff, I mean, if you're a, globalist elite scumbag pedophile you're gonna hate my guts but you know I mean if you're just a normal human being that wants to live free and be happy and do what you want without people asking you what who you fucking you know what I mean and what you drink and what you smoke and who you you know what I mean it's nobody's fucking business the 70s were a really fucked up time but at the same time it was very freeing and liberal in a, in, in a good way because people were just did what the fuck they want and people quit judging but then they get the problem is the liberals just took it too far and it got all militant, and it's like everybody has to think the way they think. No, not everybody thinks the way you think, dumbass. So, <sighs> and I digress with love and light. Well, you need to work on this homeless thing, man. And it's not just me. I don't. I can give a shit. I'm cool. I'm. I'm just. It hurts my heart to see so many people struggling, and most of them are out in the desert right now. They'll be coming up. This place is going to be nuts by July because everybody that's in the desert is going to start getting hot. The desert's already hitting 90s. And if you've ever been in the desert when it's 110, you just don't want to be there. It's just there's and being in a vehicle, oh, for fucking get about it, right? Oh my God, it's just like an oven. Woo! No, 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 no. I was here last summer and there's a reason because it's not 70 degrees, 80 degrees tops, right? So, <clears throat> I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. Let's work on this. Let's love each other. Let's value ourselves the way I value myself, and you should value yourself. It took a long time to get this way, people. Trust me. 
I was a lump of goo. I was curled up in the fetal position, crying like a little bitch in the depth of my storm. Look at me now. It could be you too. So. Work on yourself. Eat right. Don't drink alcohol. I just don't. Smoke weed when you can a little bit. Not a lot. Don't overdo that stuff too because they're making that shit potent. So be careful, baby. <clears throat> and it's, yes, a little bit tiny. A little bit. I love you. I want you to have a wonderful day, okay? Okay, bye.